today's session is about similarity transformations. Let us assume that we have a vector x given by 1 zero. Let us assume another matrix A equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us assume a linear transformation x bar equal to Ax. This results in 2, 3, 4, 5 multiplied by 1 zero. This will result in basically a similarity transformation or a linear transformation results in converting one column vector into another. This idea is used in conversion of one state model to another. Let us move on to the actual topic. Here we discuss conversion from one state model Another using similarity transformation. While discussing state models, we have seen three different types of state models like controllable canonical form observable canonical form, diagonal canonical form and a subset of this is Jordan canonical form. And we have also seen physical state models. Which do not belong to any of the above mentioned canonical forms. Like state models for an RLC circuit with physical variables as state variables. But in many cases during the analysis of state models it might be required to convert a given state model to another one. For example if you consider controllable canonical form we will discuss in detail about this in the next module that controllable canonical form is very essential for state feedback and also in the controllability test. If you have a state model in the controllable canonical form, the conversion to uh, or uh, the state feedback design will be much easier and also controllability test can be easily done. So, one may have to convert different state models to one of the above canonical forms. So, in this session we discuss conversion of state models to controllable canonical form, observable canonical form and diagonal canonical form with the help of similarity transformation. So, we have already seen what a similarity transformation is. Let us consider hence conversion to CCF first. conversion of any state model to CCF. It was mentioned that the basic idea is using a transformation, a linear transformation. So, let us start with a state model x dot equal to ax plus bu and y is equal to cx plus du. 
where x is a state vector x1, x2, etc. up to xn. While discussing state models, it was mentioned in the class that capital X is a state vector for a system. If the system is of order n, we can see that there should be n state variables to completely describe the system. It was also mentioned that the number of state variables here n remains unique whereas its identity need not be unique which means we can select another state vector x bar with state variables x1 bar, x2 bar, etc. up to xn bar for representing the same system. So this concept is used in the conversion for any state models from one form to another. As far as conversion to controllable canonical form is concerned, let us start with a linear transformation x equals p into x bar where p is a matrix. This can also be written as x bar is equal to p inverse x. Hence, x bar dot will be p inverse x dot. Substituting for x dot, we have a x plus b u. Substituting again for x, we have p inverse a x is equal to p x bar plus b u. This is x bar dot is equal to p inverse a p into x bar plus p inverse b into u. So, we have seen that this state equation is converted to this state equation. Here, both these state equations represent the same system. But only thing is that the state vectors are different. In this case, we have a state vector x, whereas in this case, we have a state vector x bar. The order of both the state vectors will be the same, whereas the nature or identity of the state variables will be different. Now we will discuss how we can obtain this P or what basically is this P matrix. Can we select any met vector or matrix as P? The answer is no. We need to select P as S into M. That is a special matrix, a very special matrix P which is obtained by multiplying S with M. So, we will discuss what this S and M are. S is called controllability matrix. It is obtained by arranging the matrices B, A, B, a square b etc up to a raised to n minus 1 into b. We can see that all these will be small small matrices. Arrange one after the other and obtain a matrix S. Yes. This will be more clear when we discuss problems regarding conversion. Now to obtain m. To obtain M, first we have to identify the characteristic equation, determinant of SI minus A equal to 0. 
where A is the system matrix of the given state model. So let us assume that this can be expanded as S raised to N, A N minus 1 S raised to N minus 1 plus A N minus 2 S raised to N minus 2 plus etc plus A1 S plus A0 equal to 0. Then M is obtained by arranging the coefficients of this above characteristic equation in the following way A1, A2, etc. A n minus 1, 1. The next row will be A2, A3, etc. up to 1. This is 0. Likewise, we go to 1, 0, 0, 0. So, if you obtain M and S like this, we can find easily P. And once we find P, P inverse AP can be used for finding this new model, state model. So, we can say that from X dot equal to AX plus BU, we have reached X bar dot is equal to P inverse AP X bar plus P inverse B into U. Similarly, Y equal to CX plus DU that is the output equation of the first state model can be converted to the output equation of CCF using the same idea. C into what is X? X is nothing but P X bar plus D into U. So, we can write Y bar. Y bar is equal to CP and D remains same. Hence, the CCF, corresponding CCF would be X bar dot is equal to P inverse AP into X bar plus P inverse B into U and Y bar equal to CP X bar plus D into U. Thank you.